In this video, we're gonna walk you through Facebook Business Manager so you know how to make the most out of it for your own business or your clients. Hi, my name's John Tanner. I'm the CEO and co-founder here at Social Media College. Facebook has a large number of different management and analytics tools like their Ads Manager, Audiences, and Analytics. Unfortunately, many of these tools are spread out across Facebook, causing some small businesses to miss out on them. That's where Facebook Business Manager comes into play. It's one of the most important tools at your disposal. It offers extensive features and access to crucial tools like your tracking pixel and custom audiences, and it makes it easier for you to connect with your customers. Hello. What is Facebook Business Manager and why does it matter? Facebook's Business Manager is a portal where you can access all of Facebook's free online tools, helping to manage everything related to your business's presence on Facebook. I like to think of Business Manager as a smartphone and the Facebook tools are like the apps on the smartphone. Note that Business Manager is currently being migrated and renamed to Facebook Business Suite. However, most people haven't been migrated yet. So we'll continue to call it Business Manager in this video. In total, there's 25 free tools available in Business Manager. However, these are the ones you're likely to access the most. Ads Manager, where you can create, manage, and track all your Facebook ads. Audiences, where you can create custom and lookalike audiences, or save an audience based on demographics, interests, or behaviors. Events Manager, where you can create standard events or custom conversions. Connecting data from your website, app, or store to understand what actions people are taking. And Billing, to view payment history for your ad accounts. Business Manager is also the go-to place for linking up accounts, like managing branded campaigns or gaining or giving access to second accounts, like for an agency to manage a client's page or ads. Business Manager is needed to unlock Facebook's full potential. When you first access the platform, it's a little scary and intimidating. But over time, you'll get to know each of the tools available and how it might be able to help. It's particularly crucial for social media practitioners who want to help their clients with any of their marketing activity. How to access Facebook's Business Manager. Go to business.facebook.com. This will open up the suite of tools, which has recently been revamped and looks a little different than it did even a few months ago how to create a business account. Business accounts on Facebook are must have for social media practitioners. They allow you to manage multiple assets that you don't own, once given permission and access. So if you want to manage a client's ad campaigns or pages, you can do so without them giving you their login details. The client is also able to control the level of access that you have. If you don't already have a dedicated business account for yourself as a freelancer or your agency, whatever your business model is, you can create one here. You'll be asked to enter your business and account name, your name and your business email. You'll confirm the account through the email verification. How to set up your business manager. If this is your first time using Facebook Business Manager, there are a few things you want to do to get started so that you can get the most out of it and access what you need to. How to add assets to your Facebook Business Manager. When you have a brand new Facebook Business Manager account, this is the first thing that you'll see. It will have your name and no assets yet assigned. Assets are ad accounts, pages, and Instagram accounts. To add one, you're not going to click add asset like you might think. Instead, you're going to look at the left-hand side navigation bar and go one by one to the different types of accounts you want to add. So let's start with a page. Click on accounts and then pages in the navigation bar. That will pull up this screen. Click on add and you'll see the option to add a page that you already own. Request access to a page that another business runs or create a new page. Before you request access to anything, you'll need to have a page of your own. You can add one to claim it or create a new page for your business. How to connect to client accounts through the Facebook business suite. Want to connect to a client account? First, let's add a client's page. Once your own account is claimed and you have a primary page, click on request access to a page. You'll then confirm that your business account will be the one gaining access and search for the page by its name or ID. Once you do, you can request access to specific roles. You can gain access to publish content, moderate messages and comments, create ads, view analytics, and even fully manage the page. The client can turn this off at any point. Your request will be sent to the client, which they can then approve. The process for adding other accounts is similar. You can do this with your Instagram account, for example, to claim it if your page wasn't already linked to it. To add an ad account, go to ad accounts, just like you did for pages, and click request access. You'll have two options for setup. 
The first is to type in the ad account ID you want to request access to. They'll have to give you that. Or you can ask them to assign partner and enter in the ID number listed. It's often easier to go the second route as clients may struggle to find the right information otherwise. How to add other users to Business Manager. If you're working at an agency, it's likely you will need other people to have access to certain accounts, with all participating parties' permission, of course. To add other users to your business account, go to Users and then People. You'll see the option to invite people to your account. Enter in their email address and decide whether they'd like to have employee access or admin access. Admins have access equal to you. Employees must be assigned to specific accounts and tools. In most cases, it's best to add people as employees. Once you do this, you can choose which accounts you'd like them to have access to and what you'd like them to be able to do. Invite them via email. You can adjust these roles at any point. How to navigate Facebook Business Manager. The basics of your account are now set up. Let's take a look at how to navigate. The first thing you'll need to do when moving through Business Manager is to ensure that you're using the right account as you can use it with your personal account connected to a page or ad account or business account. In our post, we'll be using a business account as an example. To ensure you're using the right account, click on your profile picture and choose the correct option. Once you do that, let's get started. One, view users and their account access. Want to review the team members who have different access to different accounts and see or edit exactly what they can do? Go to people and then you can view each individual account that's connected to yours. You can resend invites, adjust their roles or remove them at any point. Two, add and manage product catalogs. Product catalogs allow you to run more automated and dynamic ad campaigns. You can also use them to create shops on Facebook and Instagram. To add or manage your product catalogs, go to data sources and then catalogs. You can either create a new catalog or request access to one. When creating a new catalog, choose who you want to have access to the account and what they're able to do. Then upload your catalog either manually with a feed from a third-party integrating site or with an Excel file. Three, set up your tracking pixel. Your Facebook tracking pixel is essential. It can help you track off-site conversions driven by ads to assess and optimize performance. It can also help you track user activity to create retargeting campaigns. To set up or customize your tracking pixel, go to data sources and then pixel. If you don't already have a pixel set up, you can create one now and you can learn more about installation options in this video. Once you do this, you can set up events, which are trackable actions. This includes ads to cart, purchases, registrations, and more. You can also set up offline events like actions taken in store and not online and custom conversions. Number four, set brand safety restrictions. Brand safety features allow you to block your ads from appearing in or before videos or on sites or apps of users that you don't want your business to be associated with. If you're selling organic, sustainable kids clothes, for example, you might not want an ad shown up on a video where an influencer is using colorful language and discussing topics not appropriate for children. This protects your brand's image and it can be found under the brand safety tab. To block sites, click on block list. You can then either search for users or enter in an Excel file. Five, manage integrations. There are thousands of platforms you can integrate with Facebook pages and ad accounts. Think social media management software like Agora Pulse, ad management tools like Ad Espresso, and even automation options like Zapier. You can manage integrations in Business Manager by choosing integrations. Six, set up two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication is very important for the security of your account. You should already take that seriously, but it becomes particularly important when you have access to the accounts of others too. Go to Security Center and then find two-factor authentication at the top corner. You can select that no one is required to do this, that admins only are, or that all employees are. We strongly recommend the last option as it can protect you and your clients. Note that Facebook is currently rolling out mandatory two-factor authentication. So hopefully this has occurred by the time you watch this. Underneath this, you'll also see an option to start the process for business verification. This can unlock new features and Facebook products. So we recommend moving through the process. Final thoughts. Facebook Business Manager can be overwhelming at first glance, especially for new marketers or small businesses who aren't familiar with the platform yet. It's well worth learning, however, as it's the only way to unlock some features and the easiest way to access others. If you want to reach the full marketing and advertising potential of Facebook for your own business or your clients, this is a must-have tool. And before we go, here are a few recommendations we have. 
Regularly review your settings. It's not uncommon for employees to leave the company, whether on good terms or not, and to completely forget that they have access to your account or your clients. Make it a habit to check in at least once every other month or after any major personnel changes. If you have an employee that leaves on bad terms, it's best to remove their access immediately. Check in after major platform changes. Have you noticed that there's a new algorithm or a new interface? Take a look around Business Manager, especially if you don't follow social media updates regularly. This will help ensure that you haven't missed anything that requires you to make some changes. Aside from that, spend some time poking around Facebook's Business Manager to get used to the interface and see about any other specific features that could benefit you. Don't worry, you're not going to break Business Manager. So just click on the different tools to learn what it's about and how to use it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also tell us in the comments what's your favorite tool that you use in Business Manager. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon if you want to get notified the moment we drop any new YouTube videos. Thanks so much for watching. My name again is John Tanner, CEO and co-founder here at Social Media College. I'll see you in the next video.